G'day and welcome back to our Danish bloodbath campaign in Hearts of Iron. We are going to be in trouble here. Yep, France joined Sweden as our enemy. So, yeah, we're going to get invaded quite soon. It'll be a naval invasion because it's the only way they can get here. But UK is not going to have a problem with doing that. So this war is not going to be over anytime soon. We can blame Japan for that because he's caused 98.4% world tension. The Treaty of... Yes, yes. The Treaty of Chongqing is why Sweden was able to join. It bumped it up 57%. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how we go. We're at war with New Zealand. Uh-oh, it's over. So we're still doing fine up here, except for this. Just cancel that and retreat to North Shepping. Now, if you take a look at our men, we've got tons of veterans in there and in there. Germany declared war on Poland. Poland joined the Allies. Okay, so Germany will defend us a little, somewhat, from the UK and France. His fleet should hopefully make them think twice. And we've got our reinforcement rate. Let's go for encryption, because it's quick. and will finish about the same time as the rest of them. 32 factories. We're at war with all of the damn allies. UK have taken casualties somewhere. Weird. Hopefully they don't start landing troops over here, because that would really crimp our style. Alright, so I've uh, created this front. <clears throat> Not the front, the attack order, just so that we can get the planning bonus. Letting him retake this land, because we don't actually care about it. Finished our army effort. We're going to work through equipment. Alright, we don't care about that. Fall back. Now the question is, do we care about this particular piece? I think maybe we do. If he's going to walk out, it'll take him three days to leave. We might just retake this one. Hmm. Yeah, we will. Alright, get down there. Because we don't need to... Well, crap. We need to defend there. Sweden. Belgium. Belgium is going to be a problem. Unfortunately, you're going to have to reinforce. Which means we are going to run into some problems up the line. Yeah, the other allies coming in are going to be a problem. Especially if he moves down there. German interest in Scandinavia. This really does not bode well, no. Ask him for military access to France. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Um, try improving relations. I'm sure he would still just declare war on us no matter what. There's strategic reasons to be hostile. Unless he becomes communist, then maybe he wouldn't have those strategic reasons anymore. Luxembourg is in. Germany declared on Luxembourg. Yep, that's fine. So if he's going to go down and attack France, that'll weaken the Allies quite a bit. Also strengthen Germany, which isn't really something we want. Netherlands are in. Okay, this defence is going fine. Looks like he's not trying to take the empty province. Swedish... Uh, why is our guy going back out? Or whatever. He was in port repairing. I thought he'd cancelled his order as well. Right, there goes Belgium. Take a look at what's happening down here. We can't see anything. But that won't last very long. Some port strikes now. Naval bombers. Okay. We have no reason for any ports anymore. He is rather weak. We don't want to jump across the river though. Belgium has joined Sweden, which means his volunteers up here have been pulled back. Now, do we want to wait until December? I think we should be able to do that. As long as we can hold these lines, we're fine. Is that Polish troops in there? I'm not going to show them anymore. Hmm. Alright, if we can get Norway to join the common turn. 
going to be another year or two. Yep, just sink our submarine already. Five Soviet subs. Alright, still looking green. This is still a potential problem. Alright, I think it's time to make our move. That is pretty big province there. Yep, looking fine on that defense. We can jump through here. Unfortunately, it's more rather than less. Let's keep moving him back. Their capitulation is miles off. We're going to have to actually take Göteborg. Though, we've only got one victory point up there. Worth one. Worth one, worth one. Everything's only worth one, so we actually have to take everything else out. Skurn ya. Okay, well, as long as we remain strong up here, I'm hopeful. Stop them. Oh, it's fine. If they run, a, run away fast enough, we'll just do it this way. Offensive move there, we can cover that. This is a potential problem. This is a big problem. Hmm. We just need the men. Let's head into Falun. And then... I don't know. Push up. See where these guys end up. Take a chunk of this. So at least we get a bit of warning before they start retaking everything. I mean, we need to make sure we don't lose Stockholm. So we have to keep an eye on what's happening up here. Who arrives first? We do. Hey, we defend in the forest. Suck that, buddy. Kick them out of Falun. We still have planning bonus. Alright, we don't want to go much further. But taking advantage of his guys, making him strategically, re strategically redeploy around the place. Could only be good for us. Alright, we will move the infantry up further. I'm giving him an opportunity to rebuild his organisation, but getting this encirclement before we attack is probably better than just doing it while he's on low. 30% penalty. Alright, trying to do a defence there. Should work out okay now. He's got organization and his manpower's not too bad. I'd like to win that faster. Um, right, integrated support gives support battalion soft attack. Yugoslavia's gone. Alright, soft attack and organization. Again, just support battalion. And yes, now he's starting to move in, which is why we need to get back before he can. Mm, nothing else there to worry about. Infantry, equipment, that's still way too far ahead of time. Support battalions, way ahead of time as well. Armour, um, uh, artillery actually, there. Alright, who's going to get in first? One day, eight. 17 hours. Okay, so we defend. I assume this is plains, not urban. He's got a river crossing penalty, that's all. But look at our freaking modification on that. It's cool. Alright, we're waiting for December, yes? 9th of December. Alright, we've taken the rest of that. Let's head up. Don't know where he's going. Probably here. But now we can do the defense here. Good. One day. Crap, he gets in first. Alright. Come down here. Should be more defensive. If he walks around to take Stockholm, be very annoyed. 
So we should be able to hold for Lun. He can redo them. Then we just need to make sure we don't let him past. <clears throat> okay, it's a bit annoying. Still green across the board. Um, decent opportunity to be annoying there. We are just defending everywhere else, so that's fine. Yep, there he comes. So while this guy's engaged, he might start walking somewhere else. Yep, we don't want to win that. How long does he take? 17 hours, we would take a day. Good. So we can just pick whichever one he's going to go to and defend there. Damn. Okay. Roll on 9th of December. We need those guys in. Three on one there isn't good. The submarine's still alive. Alright, better infantry equipment. Weapons three would take a hell of a long time. How much of a benefit is it? Significant. Alright, I'm going to start working on that. Be the first to have the awesome weapons would be nice. We can defend that. We can defend there. We can do well there. Down here. We're still worried about the Allies sending troops in. He's going to be getting volunteers. Luxembourg's gone. And yes. He's probably getting lend lease or something as well. Hmm. You start hitting significant problems here. Right, equipment effort. Chew. Does that actually change? Let's switch over to this. It wouldn't make any difference to that, but we need to get the bonus on that from finishing the next research. Okay. And yes, he's a lot stronger now. He must have got more manpower. Which is fine. Our guys will be ready in December. We'll probably actually get them to do a naval invasion down here behind the lines. Let's assume we can hold most of this. As long as he doesn't realise he can just walk straight down to the capital. If we can hold him there, it would be good. These guys will hold them back, no worries. And it is Polish troops. Uh, if Germany declares war on us, we're screwed. If the Allies realise this is all empty, we're screwed. Oh, it's all Japan's fault. Let us change. Yugoslavia capitulated, yes. Alright, got the encryption. We... Oh, there goes Warsaw. Poland's gone. Um, can't do anything there. 39. We're already behind on these. Alright, increase factory output. Mm, Germans on the border. Still all looking green. We could do our own push in here. That particular province would be a good idea. It would shorten our front line. Alright, Soviet's going for Poland, which means we may have to worry about going to war with Germany. Need somebody up defending that. These two here are the biggest problem at the moment. These are connected, so don't have to worry about that province. We don't want to take that, that's giving us our planning bonus. Alright, anywhere else we can shorten the line. If we took this province, we wouldn't have these two... Well, we wouldn't... No, it's to be the same. <coughs> we just replace that one. Alright. Nothing that can be shortened down there, except for taking this. 
Hmm. Alright. Time to switch this up. That will be your new thing. That would cut them off between those lakes. And if we push two into there, then we'll free up one guy. So he stopped the assaults on Copenhagen. Yep, not going to pull anybody else off to help with this assault. We'll just wait till that's gone. that will be 10 provinces on the border, which would be perfect. So we'll actually be able to hold it without having to keep a really close eye on it. His manpower looks like it's shot again. Can we see... He's already scraping the barrel. Holy crap. Alright. What are we doing? Extensive. We could even push to service by requirement soon. But our manpower is okay, so... We've got a handle on them. Only problem is they join the Allies. Screw you, Japan. If China had held out longer, then we could have finished this war before they joined. Alright, now we grab one cav to go stand in that province. Where the hell are you going? Oh, that's all the guys just... Alright. 18th of December, just wondering where they came from. These are the new troops. Good, good. Alright, well, they're going to get a planning bonus, and then they're going to be... Well, probably not the ones, we'll just grab whoever's closest to start pushing out. Which will mean doing a hell of a lot of stuff up there. Maybe cut them off through these three provinces. Hold that, and then whoever's left over can just go running up there. Alright, you know what? We'll grab the bottom nine. These guys will have a front there, not from the south. That's not going to let me drag it, is it? It is. Good. All right, you're going to push from there. That should work. They'll do a bit of a shortcut. But if we tell them something like that, I don't know. Figure it out later. Concentrated industry means we need construction, regimental combat teams, make way for tank breakthrough. Well, that's going to be completely useless, but then we're going to be able to push down heart attack, no, shock and awe, I guess, army soft attack, recon, yeah, recovery rate and organization, soft attack, heart attack. All right, keep going for it. Three military factories. Must have been some of the building. Alright, make sure. I don't care if everything's upgraded quickly because we've got a surplus anyway. Alright. So the other problem here is when we click go, they're going to try and push on that. Equipment effort 2. Japanese in Berlin are bad. Japan's joined the Axis. As long as we don't go to war with Germany, we might be alright. And there's our 50% on weapons 3, so this will finish a long time from now. 37 days, the interwar artillery, we can switch over to doing the others though. Well, even if the Soviets do, we can decline going to their war, hopefully. Alright, nearly got the full planning bonus.
wait until today. Okay. Start our push with whatever spare troops we've got, which isn't many. These guys are spread across the line. Oh, we just leave them where they are and let these guys start doing some stuff. But I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope to see you again soon when Germany apparently is going to declare on us. So see you later.